Hi, hi, hi. So today I want to talk about something that I've kind of been avoiding talking about for a while. And that is astral projection. (laughs) So a couple of weeks ago, I was feeling a bit frustrated about why it is that this friend of mine um, understands the messages from her guide so clearly and is able to communicate so effectively and I get numbers (laughs) I was like why do I just keep getting numbers I want more I want something more tangible I want to see you I want to know that you're real so while I was doing some work this frustration started boiling up inside me and I stood up and I looked out into my room and I started talking to my guides with frustration. <laughs> so I was like, why do you communicate with me through numbers? Come and stand in front of me, switch the lights off and on, put the music on my computer on, slam the door, do something to let me know that you're real and I'm not imagining all of this. And you know, cause I, I'm, I'm not one to just have blind faith and I'm like, no, nope, I'm not gonna do the blind faith thing. <laughs> do something to let me know that this is real and I stood focusing on the door I almost went into a bit of a meditation there focusing on my door really intensely and then a message popped up from emergency services Korea's emergency services on my phone didn't understand what it said but there was a number that caught my eye so I decided to google what the hell the number means and I'm like I just said, don't communicate through numbers, but let's see. (laughs) I Google the number and the number says, your spirit guides are with you. I couldn't help but laugh in that moment. (laughs) So I laughed it off and continued on with what I was doing. That night, went to bed as usual and... And woke up at about 6, maybe just before 6, it was still pretty dark, went to the bathroom, jumped back in bed, and then my body starts tingling. So I'm like, what is that? Like my whole body, like, tingles. So I shake it off, and then I try to fall asleep again, tingling starts again. And then I remembered watching a video about astral projection couple weeks before and that it starts like that you'll feel the tingles and that you should just relax relax into it and allow it to happen so I'm like holy cow am I about to astral project (laughs) so I relax into it and I'm like okay bring it on let's see what this is all about with that knowing I decide to kind of try to sit up now to like do it myself separate so I sit up nothing I'm like okay I just snap out of it I wake up so I lay down again this happened about three times and then eventually I remember in the same video the guy says if you do it too early you're just gonna keep waking up you know like snapping out of it he he also mentioned that you'll know when the time is right so I lay there waiting tingling starts again man it was really not giving up let me just say tingling starts again and I lay and wait eventually it got so intense it started my body started like lightly vibrating so there was this vibration and it it, it was quite uncomfortable it is a little scary and then I thought okay I won't sit up he recommended rolling out of your body and onto the floor so I'm like okay let me roll and I'm like it's vibrating this must be the time because now it doesn't feel like much more is gonna happen from this point so I roll off to the left and I'm like I am gonna hit the floor so hard and in the video the guy was also like don't be afraid it's your astral body it's not your actual body it will feel like your actual body but you'll know you'll know that it's your astral body so 
I'm going on faith and I'm like, if I land hard on the floor, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to hit my head on the side table and that will be that. I'll just get back into bed and try again. <laughs> I roll over onto the floor. Soft landing. Soft landing. I knew instantly, holy cow, I'm fucking astral projecting mind the language <laughs> but it was that kind of freaking moment it was so insane I stood up and I had my eye mask on and I'm like I can see light but why can't I see anything else so I eventually realize it's because my mask's on I lift my mask off I look around I see my body on the bed <laughs> it was so insane it was so insane I was so excited, I just jumped up into the end, started flying around my room. I also noticed that I was in my bedroom at home in South Africa and that the walls were purple, which means that there was some element of time travel. Because the walls, when I was home a couple years ago, I painted them like a grey-blue light kind of colour, a light grey-blue colour. So. I knew that it wasn't at this time. Anyway, I was still excited. I was like, I'm in my room. I've been thinking about going home a lot lately and excited about being back in the house with my family back in my childhood room. Maybe that's why I projected here. Flying around the room and then I'm like, hang on. If I can fly and do all these things and I'm astral projecting, then I can go outside. So I try to fly through the wall, bang, hit the side of the wall try through the ceiling, bang, hit the ceiling. <laughs> and I'm like just constantly trying until eventually I'm like, okay, maybe there's a mental block. Maybe my guides or whatever are trying to protect me, whatever it is. I, I, I still don't know what the reason was that I couldn't fly through the walls or the ceiling. But that was super exciting. I flew around the room a little more and then decided, okay, time to go back into my body. And as soon as I thought that, I immediately just went, I just straight into my body. There wasn't a, a transition period. I was just in my body, woke up, opened my eyes, removed my mask, and I just smiled for the whole of the next day. And I was like, this must be the response of my spirit guides. When I'm fighting with them to show me that all this stuff is real, they showed me. <laughs> anyway, that night or the next night, um, I knew it was going to happen again because I was like, I, it, I just knew. Now, I don't know if it happened again because I knew and in knowing I set the intention for it to happen again or if it was actually going to happen and I knew prior. I don't know, whatever it was. So that night around the same time, maybe about five o'clock or so, starts happening again. But this time, because I'd had a, my day, it ended a little shaky on the Monday because this was the Sunday night that the first time happened so the Monday my day didn't end too too well and I didn't want to project on the Monday night so I was like and I said before going to bed I don't want to project tonight so whatever intentions you have don't bring this projection <laughs> it happened anyway started again with the pins and needles or the and then the vibration I was trying to fight it off until eventually I was like, okay, you are not giving up. Let me just succumb and do the thing. So I roll out of my body to the right this time, but I didn't roll onto the floor. And this time I was definitely in my room in the same time, at the same time, in the same time space, whatever. <laughs> and I'm walking around the bed holding the bed because I can't see and I was so dizzy and uncomfortable and it was just not a very good experience but I imagine that it probably went that way because I went into the projection with the fear that because I had a bad evening that it would project into my into my experience which is probably exactly what happened the third night it wanted to happen again but this time I Oh, oh, at the end of the second night, I decided to go back to my body, but this time I floated back into it, like, like flew up and then floated back into it and then realized the reason I couldn't freaking see anything was because I had the eye mask on. 
still baffled by how the eye mask came with me into projection. But <laughs> anyway, the third night um, I was dreaming and then woke up or became conscious in the dream. So that was ended up being a lucid dream. And I, was, I also had an assignment due, so I was fighting it every night. I was like, this is not the right time. This is not the right time. Stop, stop. I don't want to project. I don't want any of this. I need to focus on my studies. I stopped meditating that week. I stopped doing everything I could to try and like focus on my studies. But man, it was, it was quite, quite challenging. Since then, um, since after my studies, as soon as I submitted, I said, okay, now I'm ready for whatever it is you're trying to show me. And I felt the vibration, but I definitely had a mental block after, I guess after the bad experience on the second night. And I haven't been able to project again after that, but the vibration and the, the tingling happens. Um, any night that I go to bed and I decide I'm going to project tonight, it happens. So before I go to bed, I'm like, tonight I'm going to project. And then when I wake up at whatever time, I feel the tingling, I feel the vibration, but I just can't get to the point of that separation. So I guess I'll just keep practicing and see, and see what happens. But it's definitely something that I know now without a shadow of a doubt that there is more than this body this physical body any questions i had about any kind of spirituality have been answered i don't have all the answers but what i do know is that i have a soul or some kind of thing that seems to be a soul that separated from my body when i was 100 percent fully conscious there was no falling asleep at any point and yeah so i guess me yelling at my my guides <laughs> definitely worked in terms of them being like okay she's frustrated let's let's give her something tangible <laughs> anyway i hope that this experience of mine has been a little i don't know maybe you'll kind of pick something up as you try to to project for yourself but the one thing that i will say is set the intention set the intention even throughout the day be like oh, of course I'm gonna project and don't just say it you must believe it know it I'm gonna to project tonight it's gonna to happen it's gonna happen and then you might be very surprised by it happening anyway have a good one and see you on the next one